watch it because he was so annoying. Mm. Oh, I missed that. Much. But I do. Uh, uh, yeah. But I do come up all sorts of stuff. It's funny reading some of them, some of the forums about this and stuff. I like it when they say stuff and you think, "What? Well, that's completely wrong." Yeah, it's I love. I know. Oh, Dave real. Vaughan said this. And you think, I would never say that. What are they on about? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Where did that yeah. come from? But I don't even bother replying. I mean, yeah. there's, there's like people out there that give their lives to try and like unearth people that they think are in error or cult leaders or whatever. So like they spend all their time looking for people like me so that they can write blogs about me to keep their ministry going, which is quite sad, really. It's funny, yeah. though. But what's... You know... Like, I don't know, can you, what's the, you know, obviously you want to lead people and stuff like that, but is there, you know, if you're doing that full time, is there any sort of income you can get from that? we got people that um, partner with us, so like I've got like maybe 60, 70 people that partner with the ministry that I used to have, which me and the guy that, um, that run that ministry is still taking some uh, money from f over a six month period, so the ministry that I was running um, came to an end about three or four months ago. We had Why did it come to an end? Because my friend wanted to set up a church in Cardiff and he wanted to do more stuff with his wife and it was obvious that like what we were doing was starting to like dissipate a little bit so set this thing up in Cardiff and we met over a period of a couple of months with people that are around us that we really love and appreciate and it was obvious that like we were going our separate ways. So what we did was we wrote to our partners and said, look, it's obvious the Merge Wales isn't going to be in existence for much longer. Um, we, we rely heavily upon your partnership to be a... Chair changed my mind. Archie, the one who... He had the evil character in his tenders. Yes, he was the uh, evil groom, wasn't he? I'd say he's dad, but I'd want him how he is in that programme. What, what is it? Oh, the dead funny one. Gavin and Stacey. Oh, yeah, he's brilliant in that, isn't he? Yeah. I love them two as their relationship, how it is, you know, the mum and the dad. Yeah. I hadn't seen it. Oh, you, oh, you haven't seen Gavin and Stacey. You, you have to watch it. You would love, love it. it. You have to watch Gavin oh, and Stacey. Oh, is it? Yeah. Amazing. Is it better than um, Gimme, Gimme, Gimme? No. Gimme, uh? No. Oh, I love no, Gimme. Oh. Everyone used to say I was like her. My, f my flatmate Emma, when we used to live together, that was like that. <laughs> More or less like that. <laughs> and Will and Grace. Favourite uh, Will and Grace uh, character? Karen. I like Jack, eh? Yeah. Oh my god, it's I've never watched it. When I was a bird of paradise, I used to live the life of Karen. <laughs> a bird of paradise? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's, just a, it's just an expression for... Um, uh, a, well, I, I, I use these words, mine. I don't describe myself. Good-looking good gay guy that's um, spoilt by older rich guys and stuff like that. Oh, is that what you used yeah. to be? Breaking <laughs> in like <laughs> CV. Um, bird of Paradise from September 02 to okay, September uh, 2010. Bird, bird of Paradise. Duties included. friends that would always invite me out to different to like movie premieres, parties, holidays and stuff like that. Oh, How do you meet these people? Just at parties and events and stuff. Uh -huh. What and then you say, oh, do you fancy taking me out next week? No, they asked me. Are you a How'd gigolo? You no, I, they're just my He's friends. How do you get them to ask you? They're just, you they're just my friend. How uh, do you manage to get the invite to the movie premiere? Originally, quite a lot of times there were romantic interest first because they'd want to take me out for a date and I'd take me out for a date but then I'd say, but then I'd tell, you know, it didn't work. I would say, look, I'm not really interested in a date. I'm not interested in a relationship sort of thing. So then we just became friends instead. I've just stayed friends with them over the years and stuff like that. Oh. Uh -huh. So how, how do you sort of movie premiere invite? How do you, do yeah. you drop subtle hints? No, yeah. they're, no, they just, they phone me up I and say... I wouldn't mind going to see... Uh... You know, the, the last one I went to, they phoned me up and said, what are you doing on Wednesday? I said, nothing. I said, do you want to go to... Oh, shit, what was that one? The Hangover premiere. Oh, yeah, The Hangover is amazing. And I said, I said it depends. Did you yeah. get to meet all those guys like who was it, Bradley Cooper? Yeah, stuff, all of them. Well, that's what I said. At first, I said it depends, and I said depends on what. I said, have you got tickets to the after show party? 
He went, yeah. I said, okay, I'll go. <laughs> So with this big brother stint, do you think it helped your fashion design? Career? I hope so. I reckon it will. Well, my t my my plan was like, because obviously to get your own collection going, you either need to have the, your money yourself to make the things you want and launch it, sort of launch them yourself. Um, so if if by some weird fluke miracle, in my mind I thought if I'd won, I would take the hundred grand and invest it into try and do something with my clothes with it. Mm. Um, and if not, I would try and use my time in here possibly to make maybe make a few contacts with, with different buyers who might be interested in the collection. Yeah. If Have not, you got a collection? Yeah, all sketched. Wow. It's it's sort of things I've been sketching for the last few years because. It started off with I would see bits and pe I would see clothes and I'd think, oh, like I really like that shirt, but I don't like this, this, and this. And if it'd be like this, this, and this, then I'd really like it like that. Mm. And same with a pair of trousers. So I just started sketching my own kind of clothes that I'd want to wear. Mm. And then I did a few, then I did a few pieces for my friends. Um, I made quite a few of the things that are in the, the VT footage of mine. Mm. So did you go to college and learn how to do it, or you yeah. just taught yourself? No, just purely just for my own interest. Mm. Oh my God, that's good. So what's the plan to show the sketches to someone? Like if you can make a contact out of here. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Or I was saying to Corin earlier, I would just like to be in the fashion industry. It, or say like no one is absolutely interested in my designs whatsoever. They say this is all amateur work. Nice try. Mm. Um, I would still just just as be happy to be involved in the fashion industry, like working, being at the fashion shows and stuff. Mm. Mm. So we'll see. It's a double or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know though. Oh, yeah, they would know. yeah, they would know. Do you know when they do a double? Is a show on earlier or why does it work? I yeah, I don't know how a double works. Whether they just slam us both out one after another. Apparently, It'll probably be like a quarter of an hour break or something. Twenty minutes. I'm the first break. person to be evicted, and then you think, shit, that means it's two. Yeah. Isn't it? Or well, they could just say the eighth person. If if they don't do the first one safe, because I think we're four, they'll do the first one safe tonight. Is if they go and do that and they say the eighth person to be yeah. evicted from the Big Brother house is Dave, then it's double. Then you know it's a double, dude. You know it is. And she'll just come back on. Everyone will think it's safe. She'll come back on then 20 minutes later and she'll say this is Big uh, Davina. Grabble, dude. Ooh. Have there ever been a. This week, um, this is Davina. Please do not. She says, do not swear. No, she didn't say that. She said something funny. The week before, she said, please do not ignore me or whatever, wasn't it? Yeah. It was the ignore the obvious thing. She said, please do not swear and please do not ignore me. She, she didn't say anything. I like the um, week, yeah, I, I felt really flat off the back of it. I think right, it? partly because Rachel went and I didn't want Rachel to go. John wasn't going to go anyway, was he just face it? John wasn't going anyway. <sighs> Sam, how do you think go this week? If it was two up. You think it's down to you and JJ, or me, I you and JJ? I can't say. I, mean, I wish I could say. But that's not on your knowledge of the outside, No, is it? exactly. That's just on, like, what's going on now, really. I want them two to be back now. Oh, they're just two. Can you use my friend? Can you roll that? Thank you. I think they won. There was a pretty major cheer going on, so I think that means they won. Right. 500 well, quid. Man, isn't there? <coughs> Huge amount. Corinne's got her breasticles out. <laughs> Funny you should say about my finances, or you're the second new person to come in to talk about my finances. So I'm wondering... Uh, oh, no, I've heard you say to me before that people... Um, Laura said about it, yeah. No, I've Not heard Laura, Akili. 
I've heard you say to me before, 